they are not approved for use on the roads. And they look very strange. Airport vehicles. But the unusual optical flaws have their purpose. We'll show you the function that lies behind the shape. Our first curious vehicle looks a bit like a huge Roman chariot in the arena, except that it doesn't have any horses. And there are so many funny little wheels turning, like on a pinball machine or a roller coaster. It's crazy. What is it? This is a so-called high-lift platform, high-loader. At our airport, this device is called a lifter. With this device, you can load pallets of up to seven tons onto the aircraft. And to do that without having to exert any force, you need the many rollers to move heavy containers or pallets into the belly of the plane. It looks simple, but not everyone at the airport is allowed to operate this vehicle. Only authorized employees can drive the lifter. And you only get a driving license after two years of working in aircraft handling. There's a good reason why people are so cautious with this metal giant. You can cause a lot of trouble with this. An employee drives up to the aircraft, can't use the equipment properly, drives into the aircraft and causes millions in damage. There's a lot of technology in this vehicle. You wouldn't guess it at first glance, but at first glance, there are lots of things you can't explain about lots of airport vehicles. Let's continue with these curious airport vehicles. Well, from this perspective, it does look much more like a normal truck. But it's only got half of the driver's cabin. To make up for that, the truck can do something really great. The load container goes up into the air, almost as high as a 10-meter diving board. To make his food deliveries, aircraft caterer Konrad Schertl has to hit the heights. To do so, he needs his elevator truck, because the entrance to the aircraft kitchen is very high up. Konrad Schertl takes out the trolleys with the old food trays to bring fresh food on board. His company delivers 40 to 50,000 meals a day to various airlines. That means stress. And if the lifting platform breaks down, that means delays. No food, no flight. There's a lot of traffic on the airport's roads. So many cars, buses and special vehicles without which no flight operations would be possible. And that one there is a really crazy car. Flat as a pancake, but stocky and powerful at the same time. This car is a pushback vehicle, an aircraft tractor. With a weight of 33 tons and 490 horsepower, it's a pretty powerful package. Because aeroplanes don't have a reverse gear, pushback vehicles like this are needed. They push the aircraft backwards out of their parking position until the engines provide forward thrust. This aircraft tractor encloses and jacks up the entire nose landing gear. This adds another 50 tons of weight to the wheels, which is good for traction. Now, the wheels of the tractor won't spin when it pushes the aircraft away. The tow tractor with the designation Goldhofer AST-1X taxis the aircraft onto the apron. Only when the tractor driver has lowered the aircraft again and gives the go signal, can the pilot head for the runway. For the driver, the job is done, and he drives his powerhouse to the next assignment. And he does so with a standard vehicle driving license. That's all you need to drive one of these. 
from the aircraft tractor to the tractor that mows the grass at the airfield, all vehicles with functions that sometimes have to be explained. But without these vehicles, there would be no airport.